the work I do is considered young people's literature, but I like to think it's for all people who are curious and thinking about the world and thinking about how they can have an impact on it. My name is Jacqueline Woodson and I'm a writer. When I look back on my childhood, one of the memories that comes to front and center of my brain is being in a classroom and going through book after book after book and seeing no character that looked like me or that had the experiences that I was familiar with. I specifically knew that myself, my voice, my body, my family, my community was of value in the world and, and I didn't understand why we weren't reflected in the pages of literature. When I was writing Brown Girl Dreaming, I wanted to figure out how I got to this point of being Jacqueline Woodson, how I had gone from being the seven-year-old who read really slowly, who still reads really slowly, and who got in trouble for lying all the time, to this person who's written, at that time it was 20-something books. And I decided to just write down everything I ever remembered about my childhood. So I just started writing these memories down and I realized that my family was part of the Great Migration. I realized that my great-great-grandfather had fought in the Civil War. Even that my grandparents' names were Hope and Grace, like all of these things I never put together before. And that became Brown Girl Dreaming. I think it's really important to have literature that's specific to young people because it's important that they see themselves in the narrative, that they feel like someone or some character or some author or some story is speaking to them specifically and by extension sees them. If we want to build a better world, we have to represent it honestly and, and show young people their value and the value of everyone else walking through this world, regardless of their gender or their sexual identity or or their race or their economic class. I think we don't tell the truth when we think we're protecting young people from something by not showing them parts of the world and, and parts of the way people live. I think it's great to have books that respect young people and talk of these experiences in a safe and hopeful way. They're looking for answers. They're looking for experiences that mirror their own experiences or experiences that they don't understand at all and they want to understand and I think it's important that we let them have that journey through literature. One thing I'm doing here is building Baldwin for the Arts which is a residency for artists of color. It's a place where artists can go, they get three meals a day, they get a place to live, they get a place to write or to paint or to make music and basically it's giving artists a place away from their everyday worries where they can just create. I love writing. I've always loved writing. I write because I have questions and I write because I have thoughts I want to express. And I think if I do it well enough, if the reader falls in love with the story or with the characters, they're going to come away from that book thinking about things differently. I write books that I hope young people can see themselves inside of and see their experiences inside of. And if they can't, hopefully they'll see other experiences. And when you see other people on the page and when you learn their stories, you gain empathy, you gain an understanding and your world becomes bigger and better.